uh, Dubai, one of the most populous and developed city of United Arab Emirates, venue for Conference of Parties 28 as per United Nations Framework Convention on Climate Change. So this was the venue where COP28 was held from 30th November to 30th December. I am focusing on the desert trees, the tree which I am focusing now. This is date palm, uh, Phoenix dectilifera, a dioecious tree and is a drought resistant. Uh, dioecious, it means male and female trees are separate and but we find the shohara or khajur in the market that is obtained from this particular tree and it is found under cultivation in Dubai city. Uh, in India also at Jammu Vijaypur we have introduced this phoenix ductile ephra but otherwise we have the wild phoenix silvestris tree which is growing in Shivalik sub Jammu. So during this tour to Dubai I am able to see another tree. This is copper shield tree or uh, called as uh, Peltoforum Ferrugenium and on this I am able to focus on two crows, the crows of the bay, Corvus. So they are roosting, resting on the twigs of this legume tree, which is copper shield tree, having the yellow flowers and the pinnately lobed leaves. And I am able to show you these the copper shields having the coppery color. Uh, beyond uh, this, these two trees, I am also able to focus on some of the herbs which are growing here. And the herb which I will show you is this chenopotium. In the streets of Dubai, this is chenopotium which can be consumed as vegetable shock. Another plant which is growing in abundance and is flowering is Lania coromandelica. This is not Lania, Lania, Lania procumbens. Lania coromandelica is gurjan tree or salambada, that's a tree, but this is a herb. Not to be confused with the Lania, rather it is Lania, Lania procumbens. Also, Sparge, Dudli, which is Euphorbia, herd, medicinal plant, and uh, we are also seeing here another plant which is jungle jelly bee, Pithosolobium dels, which is also very useful for the arid land desert reclamation as we find even in Rajasthan and Gujarat. Similarly in Dubai also, they have introduced this plant jungle jelly bee. Another plant which is very unique to our Jammu region and Kashmir, which is called as Nunar in Kashmiri language, Kulfa or Lunak in Jammu region. This is very delicious herb with succulent obovate leaves and this is also growing in wilderness in the Dubai United Arab Emirates. So not only this, we have another plant which is called as the Romax. So here we are able to see Romax dentatus and uh, this is the, the, the grass which is also very common here but one grass which is spikeless this is a cattail grass which is called sankras so sankras is also growing in this wilderness and then uh, interspersed with lania procumbens i am able to show you the the, the yellow flower heads they are of uh, lania procumbens again called dubli but interspersed with this also another plant which is called Gokhru. This is one of the Panchamool uh, Jadi Bhuti uh, and in Jammu or India we have Tribulus Terrestris and this is also the same Gokhru uh, called as Gokhru uh, or Gokshur uh, named after the uh, shape of the fruit which has some resemblance with the hoof of the cow. 
so it's called kind of gokshur or gokuru and tribulus uh, terrestris uh, while in uh, roaming in the wilderness of dubai and showing you the grosses like sankaras and uh, the herb romax and chenopodium and euphorbia uh, i am able to show you these lofty trees of uh, uh peltoforum that is copper sheet tree and the uh, also the phoenix silvestris and this is the famous library uh of uh, dubai at uh, al rashidia library and uh, these are the uh paths and along the paths we find the trees of either uh paltofor tarokarpa or phoenix dictylifera or these bushes and herbs in herbs the dock or this chinopodium uh, also uh, i am able to show you the suchal small one and this is another uh, plant which is called as this is phyllanthus so buhi amalki we in phyllanthus we have many uh, species phyllanthus amblica is there but apart from that we have many other uh, other plants uh, which are growing wild and this is another phyllanthus uh hazar mani uh this is a medicinal plant in case hazar mani and this is very useful for urinary ailments and this suchal or sunchal or malva neglecta this is used for cuisine making and this is very famous grass of jammu and also world over we find this is called khabbal in the over language this is also in dubai cynodon cactaea this is very important a religious grass in india where it is used in the worship of lord ganesha but it can also be brewed or boiled as tea and this particular grass is cosmopolitan uh, found also in Dubai so this is the uh, Dubai and this is the you can say the library and uh, the trees i will see and uh, it was the venue of cop 28 and uh, uh, in that cop uh, meeting uh, agriculture found inclusion in the discussion and apart from um, agriculture even the oils fossil fuels they were also focused how to phase out uh, fossil fuels uh in the interest of better climate so this is the unique you can say the location where it was the city where uh, it developed some in the 19th and 20th century but before that in 18th century it was nothing but a, a fishing village and even up to 1930 uh pearl uh, industry pearl trade was the main activity here but after 1930 uh, uh, more trade development and uh, tourism and even some oil exploration uh, were taken place uh, especially after 1950s uh, 1960s so another tree which i am focusing here is amal tas krangal in dogri language and this tree is growing in dubai so even in dubai we have the vegetation which is very similar to indian trees so this is amal tas indian laburnum asia fistula uh, this particular tree is a uh, uh, national tree of thailand and uh, uh, on the uh, twigs of this i am also able to see some bird passerine bird and its fruit spores which have now become black they can be consumed uh, as your coffee the brown colored pulp is 
uh, innovated boil which is used as coffee. And this Kesha Fistula, Indian Labarnam, uh, have many Indian names as the Murtas. And uh, this is particularly uh, very decorative during summer time. So in Dubai we have the scorching summer temperature which soars beyond 45 degree. So it is in the mid winter and this time temperature is again not less than 23 or 24 degree. So in this desert, what plants I am able to show you is the Phoenix Dictyle Farah. Then another tree which I am able to see that is Margosa tree or Neem tree, which is although uh, in Persian named as Ajad Drakte Hind. Azad Drakht e Hind uh, means the tree is free of any pest or disease. And this particular tree, which is growing here, uh, I am able to focus, uh, is Margosa tree across that road. But this uh, on the way, I am able to show you the Gokhru, Tribulus terrestris, it is growing in abundance. Yeah. And this is another uh, desert uh, herb from the family Chinopodius. And uh, here again some more plants, in which this uh, particular plant uh, very unique, but I am unable to really identify this at the moment. So this is the another unique herb of Dubai. And uh, here I am uh, showing you the Gigifus. So this is Gigifus, I think it should be Maritiana. So Gigifus Maritiana and uh, Margosa, they are growing together. So this Margosa tree, also called an Indian lilac tree or Azad Drakta Hind, is very medicinal tree used in toothpaste and uh, uh, its uh, leaf has the Margosa oil, uh, which is very, very useful and it has the garlic smell. Uh, the uh, oil, uh, margosa oil or neem oil is also used against the control of termites. The extract is antifedent and this particular tree leaves and flowers when they are young. They are used uh, even in this uh, uh, Indian religious uh, ceremonies. Uh, some cuisines are also prepared uh, as in Tamil Nadu or uh, West Bengal of India. And this particular tree, Margosa uh, or Z directa indica, this was basically Corlinius, uh, named as Melia Z directa. But it was D. Jusso who later changed the name to Z directa indica. So I'm able to see that this particular grove here in Dubai, the United Arab Emirates' most populous and highly developed city, uh, known for the skyscrapers and the tallest building Burj Khalifa uh, and uh, that particular uh, Burj Khalifa uh, architecture stands inspired from the flower of Hymenocallus or spider lily that is another unique connectivity of uh, uh, that skyscraper or the tallest building Burj Khalifa with the flower of Hymenocallus. Uh, uh, we also have here uh, palm islands they have been artificially developed uh, b b uh, as per the uh, architecture of the uh, date palm leaf and uh, uh, these uh, trees which are called bear in uh, India and this particular is called neem so this is a twigs of neem and this is the bear or also called as badari in Sanskrit we have the badari not very religious spot uh, and this particular uh, tree both are growing together. I am able to show you this a unique uh, feature where neem and and uh, uh, beer they are growing together. So this is unique. Uh, and on the uh, in the canopy, I am also able to see some of the uh, birds bird activity. It was early morning in Dubai uh, today on 27th. Uh, December 2023 when I was greeted by the uh, messengers uh, of peace the Eurasian dove or collared dove uh, Spilopelia decaocto 
But before I could see that uh, Spilophilia decocto, Facta or Kugi, uh, Bug, as we call in Dogri, uh, I heard the melodies of the Eurasian cuckoo. So Eurasian cuckoo, uh, Cuculus canorus was also uh, producing the sweet melodies in the early morning. Uh, then uh, I just uh, moved around and this is city this called as the uh, Dubai uh, you see there is also the yellow flowers of Tacoma also and this uh, street here I am able to show is street 44 and on the other side we have the street 31 but the trees which we are able to see here most common they are uh, date palm, Phoenix dictalifera, the margosa tree, Z directa indica, uh, and this bay tree that is Gigifus maritiana. And uh, even beyond uh, other side, I am able to see even Prosopis, Prosopis uh, juliflora. So that is also uh, the vegetation uh, in this area. Uh, I am just standing in front of Al Aqsa Boys School uh, right now and showing you the uh, vegetation, whatever is growing around, and most prominent among these is the Malvar uh, Rotundifolia, basically, uh, and then Remax dentatus. And uh, this particular plant, which I think I need some kind of exercise to identify which is this succulent here and desert xeric plant but another i am able to see is heliotropium um, this is the heliotropium this belongs to gahozavan family a ratanjot family although this is not ratanjot ratanjot is ornibia benthemi which is quite unique and critically endangered plant of kashmir himalaya uh, called as ratanjot in kishtwar hills or padar area to the same family to which the, our Ratanjot belongs, this Heliotropium, Hasti Shundi, uh, it belongs. And this plant is also growing in Dubai because the climate is uh, very hot, soils are sandy, and uh, whatever vegetation we see, these uh, are only those plants which are drought resistant. They can mm, uh, flourish or grow in this um, water scarce habitat and uh, heliotropium they are growing and hasti shundi as it is named in hindi here one can see the proboscis like inflorescence of white flowers so this sound like structure proboscis has given it the hindi name as hasti shundi and apart from hasti i am able to show you some of the pirates also and there are some butterflies which are uh, the pirates so tarucus uh, there are many I, uh, even honeybees but this on the uh, uh, particular flowers of heliotropium i am able to focus the pirate butterfly and uh, uh, some honeybees are also and uh, there are few more uh, uh, plants which uh, I am able to see here, but prominent uh, uh, herb and this particular uh, Gigipus grove a uh, tree and Margosa trees and then that very tall is the Prosopis uh, Juliflora. So I will talk about Prosopis Juliflora also. So this is me, but this particular tree which is very tall. I am able to show you, this is, I think, it should be, uh, and uh, you have the uh, uh, tits, very uh, beautiful tits, they are also on the branches, para species, I am able to show you right now on the twigs of this particular plant, which I am just confusing, is it the Prosopis or some other tree. Uh, oh, yes, it is Prosopis. It is Prosopis, no doubt. 
prosopis or uh, no it is not prosopis it is oh yes it is pro, uh, it is it is it is it is uh, uh, prosopis cineraria not juliflora so now i got it this is kgd tree ha uh, this is united uh, arab emirates prominent tree kgd tree or prosopis cineraria uh which has the uh, curved spines along the uh, twigs and these are the spines one can see they are very prickly and leaves are bipinnate and this particular prosopis has also been planted along road sides and you see the very old mature bark fissured bark of this unique tree which is a nitrogen fixing tree so prosopis uh, cineraria or kgd tree is also growing in dubai so we have a row of trees uh, along the road sides uh, one particular tree which i am able to see now is uh, majnu also called as selex babylonica uh, weeping willow that is also growing here so there are uh, this particular tree margosa tree and this is the tree prosopis cineraria and here i am also able to show you sangri the pods are also there and i am lucky to show you even the flowers flowers of so this flower of prosopis juliflora this spike uh pale yellow or golden yellow these are the flowers of khejdi shami which we revere in india we have lot of religious significance attached to this tree and the leaves are used during vijay dashmi celebrations also and this tree uh, is also remembered during mahabharata time as the pandavas had kept their weapons on this particular tree and they got it back after they finished their exile so this prosopis uh cineraria with the drooping branches and uh, yellow flowers is very unique not only to india but even to the uh plantation scenario of united arab emirates in fact this is also declared as the national tree for united arab emirates and dubai uh, is also one of the seven emirates uh, so this particular tree prosopis cineraria uh, is a, uh, also the st state tree of rajasthan uh where it is called khejdi and we know we are familiar with khejdi uh, gaon where uh, uh, more than 270 uh, person sacrifice their lives to protect this particular tree uh, khejdi tree or prosopis uh, cineraria and uh, this is also the state tree of telangana where it is called jammi but in united arab emirates here where i am standing in dubai it is called as gaf gaf tree it's very prominent tree of the surrounding vegetation in dubai apart from the margosa tree uh, melia uh, zedrecta now named as zedrecta indica and uh, there are some other uh, date palms which have been introduced and under cultivation and one prominent date palm is phoenix ductilifera or here i will be showing you even the flowers on the uh, this particular jijifus so this is jijifus in dubai so this is the dubai tree talk interaction where i focused because this was the venue for cop28 meeting and here the world level talks uh, in relation to united nations framework convention on climate change took place so i wanted it uh, convenient also and since i am in 
on a visit to Dubai in United Arab Emirates, I thought it proper to have one tree talk uh, devoted uh, to the desert vegetation of this part of United Arab Emirates. So this is Phoenix Dactylifera under cultivation in Dubai and uh, other side we had the trees of golf, golf tree that is Prosopis cinerea. You see the drooping branches and many strands cut also and under ground we find this foliage. So this is a row of golf trees Prosopis cinerea with the drooping branches and yellow fruits. So this is a very prominent tree of United Arab Amirat rather it is declared as a national tree and this is margosa tree uh, the bark is very useful as medicine and this is a row of phoenix dictylifera all these are phoenix dictylifera under cultivation since they are dioecious then both should be planted male as well as female otherwise there will be less fruit production date production in nature they are wind pollinated flowers but under cultivation for better yield, they are uh, usually uh, artificially pollinated flowers for better yield. So uh, Saudi Arabia is known for their dates production, especially Oman, uh, the muscat we uh, pass through while coming to Dubai from Delhi. And this particular, again, a clump of Phoenix dictylifera and this lofty tree is golf tree that is prosopis prosopis cinerea uh, kgd tree of rajasthan jammi tree of uh, telangana shami tree of sanskrit scholars very sacred to indians and uh, even pods are used for cuisine making as the name sangri and uh, this is very good fodder in rajasthan Gujarat also under planting uh, uh, cultivation we find it even in Lodi Garden, uh, even in Jammu city but here it is also planted and another uh, uh, shrub which I am able to focus now right now this is uh, exotic Conocarpus lensifolius and this also is very really adding some greenery to the location and on the other side I am able to see the Conocarpus flowering so this particular tree with abundant flowering I would like to focus in the Dubai vegetation today on uh, 27th December uh, 2023 so these are the fruits I think now they have turned into fruits the fruiting uh, Conocarpus lensifolius it was in the news in uh, Gujarat and Maharashtra area where it stands banned no more plantation of this Conocarpus lancifolius but here it already it stands planted uh, in the previous years it belongs to the guava family Miritaceae and the fruits also resemble the mulberry like uh, but these are not mulberries but rather they are fruits of a Miritaceae plant uh, basically I think it is uh, native to New Zealand Australian continent and this is Conocarpus lensifolius, very good green hedge in the desert climate and uh, uh, this is prominent tree which I could see in the ambience of Dubai so uh, heavily fruiting and lot of seed production and ultimately it colonizes uh, and it becomes very invasive as a weed so sometimes it needs to be controlled otherwise it goes beyond control then obviously it adds to the greenery but it is not desirable so I am able to see uh, this Al Rashidiya market with this Pono Corpus Lensifolius hedge the flowering date palm that is the next dictylifera the margosa tree and uh, even the golf tree 
which is very tall and it was giving a false appearance of weeping below Salix Babylonica. It is not Salix Babylonica, but it is Prosopis cineraria. And this is exotic tree planted in Dubai, United Arab Emirates, which is called as Ponocarpus lensifolius.